Yay, I'm so excited. I love Christmas. I can hardly wait. Can you believe it? It's almost Christmas. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Well, it looks like we almost have everything we need to celebrate. Candy canes, carols and lights, all kinds of decorations. And a big, beautiful Christmas tree. And of course, lots of presents. I love presents. Me too. But it's so hard to wait to open them. Uh-oh, it looks like it's almost time. We better finish getting ready. Did you hear that? Christmas is almost here. Hooray! It's our favourite time of year. Yeah! We're so excited we could sing. La 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 la. It's gonna be so sweet. Oh, but did you hear what they said? They said they were really excited about us. Well, of course they are. Imagine making a... You can't have Christmas without presents. Of course you can't. You have to have presents. Christmas would be terrible without us. Imagine waking up on a Christmas morning and not finding them. And the only reason Santa comes to town is to give presents out to all the children. without us either. Yeah, when you see us in Woolworths, then you know it's Christmas. You know any child that can't resist us? <laughs> Same without us. No. 
Peas by the fireplace. No reeds hanging by the nose. No giant inflatable lawn decorations. You can't have Christmas without decorations. The whole city gets decorated. Decorations. That's when people know it's Christmas time. Well, you can't have Christmas without one very important decoration. Yeah. Me! I'm talking about me. You can't have Christmas without a Christmas tree. Where would you put all the presents? Where would you hang your tinsel and lights? Nope, without me, Christmas just wouldn't be the same. over who's the most important part of Christmas? Presents are. No, lights. Candy canes. Decorations. No, no carols. La 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 What's that? This. Oh, well, you can't have Christmas without this. What is, what is that? This is Christmas. This. This is Mary and Joseph. God told Mary she was going to have a baby, and she gave birth to this child in a little town called Bethlehem. There were many people in the town, so there wasn't any room for them in any inn. Jesus was born in a stable full of animals. These are the shepherds. A great choir of angels came to them and told them that their saviour had been born. This is a star that shone high in the sky and led the magi to find them. They brought gifts of great worth and great sacrifice. And this is Jesus. God sent him to live with us to teach us how to love like he would love. You can't have Christmas without Jesus. If that is Christmas, then what are we all doing here? I guess we're not needed. Come on, friends. Let's go. Now, wait a minute. Don't go. Christmas wouldn't be the same without all of you. Really? 
Of course not. The truth is, we don't really need candy canes and carols, lights, decorations, a Christmas tree and presents. We don't need that, but we do want you. We want you lights to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. We want you decorations to help deck every hall around us to remind us God is always around us. We want you carols to sing to us like the angels sang out, announcing the Saviour's birth that first Christmas. We want you candy canes to help remind us how sweet are the promises and mercies of God. And we want you Christmas tree to remind us the life that Jesus gave up for us on a tree. And we want you presents to help remind us how to help remind us about the love of God when he gave us his own son Jesus. So you do really want us? Of course we do. All of us? Every single one of you. I guess Christmas just wouldn't be the same without all of us. That's true. And now all of you can help us to remember. You can't have Christmas without Jesus. Merry Christmas!